Hi everyone, Mark Walver, also known as Galactic Star Dancer. This is your weekly oracle card reading from the angelic realm. This is for November the 14th to November the 20th. Wow, what a powerful full moon. Right now we are experiencing some very rare high energy moon coming in. The moon right now is bringing a lot of things to surface. It is bringing a lot of old emotional aspects that we are releasing and letting go. This is a great time to sit down and start writing down your affirmations, your goals, your aspirations. This is a new time, a new beginning. What is it that you want to manifest in your reality? What would you like to experience more of? This is the perfect time to do that. Also, if you work with stones, gemstones, or you have any healing tools that you work with, this is a great time to put your stones outside and charge them and clear them. Um... There's no right right or wrong way of doing this. It's all about intention. You can simply get a bandana, a scarf, a piece of material cloth, put your stones on there, put it on the earth, and just let the moon absorb that energy. It can be enhanced by praying over these stones and honoring the energy of the moon. You can thank your guides, your angels, your master teachers for assisting you in this great time of change. So before we begin, I would like to share this small little prayer. And the intention of this prayer is to bring more love more harmony, more joy into everyone's life. Everyone watching this right now, if you are open to receiving, have the faith that you will receive a blessing and or a miracle. Great Spirit, Universe Creator, I ask that you bless everyone in need of assurance, strength, and confidence. Allow them to feel loved and secure. Amen. Blessed be. So beginning with Monday, Tuesday, the energy that is coming forward for us is healthy choices. We've had this card in the past, but this card is coming up again because it's emphasizing that it's really time for you to take responsibility for your health, to really take responsibility for your temple, for your body. Are you being gentle with yourself? Are you, are you giving yourself enough nourishment? Love your body. Love yourself. Honor all aspects of yourself. Begin by maybe increasing your intake of water. Start drinking more water. Start washing away that old. Letting that flow out. Let it be transformed into something better and new. Shifting into Wednesday, Thursday, we get Honor Your Feelings, Archangel Haniel. Thank you, Haniel, for
for supporting me as I honor my emotions. You see <laughs> the full moon is in the background. There is no coincidence that this card came up. The full moon brings a lot of emotions. The moon moves the water, the tides of the oceans. We are made out of water. And when we pray or honor the water that is within us, we can transform ourselves. Allowing ourselves to honor our emotional side and really knowing that being emotional is a beautiful thing because it allows us to connect with others to empathize and even connect with others in a profound way our emotions are our strength it is our power we must learn how to channel our emotions in a healthy way. Whether it's writing, dancing, singing, yoga, fitness. It's about expression. It's about you owning your voice, standing your ground, and really being in your power. Being a sober being. Having faith. And knowing that God, Spirit, Divine, is guiding you and protecting you and giving you all that you need in this moment. Going into the weekend, this is the card for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Synchronicity. The yin and yang, the black and white. The balance. Sometimes we get caught up on good versus evil, this against that. But we shouldn't feed that. We should not give it any power, any energy. It is time for you to stand up for yourself and honor the balance between the feminine and the masculine. It is time to honor you as a physical being, but also as a spirit. There are many dualities in this realm, in this world, but it's about unification. It's about people coming together and uniting. Right now, there is a lot of fear around the election that just happened about Trump and you know things about racial separation about feminism about gay people about ethnic people all these fears you know we've been been battling this battle for a long time and it's time for us to let that go and know that it's safe for us to be ourselves. You know, with all this fear base, everyone wants to repel and pull in and go in and become introverted and hide or run away. But that is not the answer. It is time for you to stand up and look at it in the face and say, I honor you and I love you. Do not push it away and you know wish bad on those things that you don't understand it's about understanding it it's about really loving it and facing fear and looking it in the eyes and saying I am fearless and I am confident in my power And the bonus card, I have one more card. I like to add one card, one more card. This is the theme for this weekend. Like I said, we have this powerful, expansive moon. This rare opportunity for you to really 
tune into this energy and utilize this wave of energy to propel and move forward to take this quantum leap to have faith that all is well and all is taken care of know that God loves you and God is protecting you inner power the divine father divine father Thank you for co-creating my world with me. You are doing a dance with the Creator, Mother God, Father Sky, Spirit. Name it what you will. Different cultures, different, different backgrounds. It has been named lots of different things. But find your own truth. Find your own divinity. It's all within you. The inner power is inside of you. That in which you have been praying for and have been seeking and asking for, it is already here in this moment within you. All you have to do is go within. Much blessings to you all. Thank you for tuning in and feel free to subscribe and like my YouTube channel. And if you feel that if anybody can benefit from this energy, from being inspired, feeling empowered, sometimes we just need a little boost. Sometimes we need some words of encouragement. Feel free to be that for somebody else. Do a kind deed today. Do a kind deed tomorrow. Do something unselfish. Do something for others. And you will learn that it's a very powerful way to connect with God. Namaste. Till next time.